Hey y'all, welcome to the fun. It's your girl Bree up in this piece. Hey. And today, 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 I am at Rose doing my last, my last little hurrah on the school clubs, okay? So basically all my kids got about 20 outfits for back to school. That's a whole month's worth. It's five days a week, you know. So that's they got enough to last them to sell some of them. Um, I just gotta go grab a couple things that need matches, matches. Tell yourself that, girl. I'm literally only here to match up stuff in the closet that don't have a match to it. That's it. We finna see what I'm finna get. I know for it's a mosquito in here. I know. Um, think I missed it. I know for a fact that. I think um, Nazaya is short one or two outfits. I think Nyla might be short an outfit or two, too. But I know for a fact, Nevaeh got the most outfits out of everybody. So, um, yeah. We finna go on Ross. Hopefully, our only, my goal is to only spend, like, under $100. Under $100 is my goal. I know that mosquito did not bite me. Y'all, um, we're going in Ross. We're looking for matches. This is the last, I think, I hope and I pray, the last back to school video, I think. I think, I think, I think. Y'all, if y'all have not already, go watch all of the back to school videos that I have posted for this year, getting my kids ready for back to school, um, 2024, 2025 school year. Um, yeah, just go watch all the videos, y'all. I promise y'all will not be disappointed. Also, <coughs> school supplies, backpacks. I do need to find um, Nazaya a backpack. Because she, matter of fact, I showed her that video that I posted from Marshall's where um, they had that little clear stitch backpack. And she said she really do want a clear backpack. And then to get her a clear stitch backpack will be perfect. But I don't really feel like going back to Marshall's, even though it's literally right down the street from where I'm at. I'm probably just going to see what um, Ross got. But, yeah. Let's get in this store. Let's see what they got, you know. All that good stuff. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. And let's get in this store. Yeah. All right, y'all. Let's just jump right into it. So, Ross is never my go-to store. Let's just start there. Every time I go to Ross, they never have, like, complete sets of matching outfits. So, in my mind, I'm like, okay, if I go to Ross, they never have two things that match. I should be able to match up their sets. That was my logic behind my reasoning going into Ross. Because, again, I never really go into Ross and find complete outfits. I never do. It's literally always, you know, a little piece here, a little piece there, another whole outfit. Anyways, y'all, so that was my reasoning behind going into Ross. This backpack is so freaking cute. And I really was going to get it, but it was $20, and it came with nothing. No water bag, no um water bottle, no lunchbox, no pencil case, no headphones, no nothing. And y'all already know how I feel about that. I need something extra so I can get a little bang for my buck. I'm not just buying no plain backpack. No. So it stayed there. Anyways, y'all, now that we have all of that established as to why I am in Ross, out of all stores I can be in, I'm choosing to be in Ross. Now we can get started on the video. I am in Ross, again, to match up stuff. This was my sole purpose to come into Ross, is to match up things, because they have a couple outfits that does not have matches. Okay. This outfit, this little shirt is cute. I put it on a buggy, because it was cute. Does she have pants to go with it? No, this stuff was not mine. So I'm like, let me sit this shit on the ground because why is it in my buggy? Again, I didn't even pay attention to the buggy. I just grabbed the first buggy when I walked in. Put that jump to the side because it's not mine. The little shirt was cute. It was for Nevea. Do she have pants for it at home already? No. Why did I hook it onto my cart to get it? I have no, I, I have no idea. It's because I'm delusional and I think that I have to keep buying stuff just because it's cute. I know I have a problem. And that's the first step in, you know, the first step in admitting your addiction is, you know, admitting you have a problem. That's with any addiction. Addiction. 
and I feel like I have a shot from addiction. Okay. So, Nevea did not need that shirt, but I hooked it on the buggy anyways. I end up putting it back, y'all, so y'all should be proud of me because I did end up putting it back. Anyways, this is me breaking through the clothes or whatever, breaking through the clothes to see what all I'm going to find, see if I can find anything. I kind of skimmed through Nevea's um, section, not even going to lie, because, again, I know for a fact that Nevea has more clothes than everybody. So, I was like, Nevea really, really, really didn't need anything, but I really do feel bad not getting her nothing. So, yeah, so I feel bad not getting her something or, you know, like, I don't want my kids to ever feel like, oh, I have favoritism and one kid gets more than the other. And really, that is my wholeheartedly my problem because I'm so big on them, like, feeling all knowing that they are loved equally, like, it's no favoritism in my household. But, however, Nevaeh's clothes are way easier to find. That's it. That's the message. I'm just putting that out there. She does not complain. When I put her on stuff, she is not picky. And again, I know it because she's just a baby. Like, she's only seven years old, so she really don't really have a, a sense of fashion yet. And I know that will change once she got, gets older. But as of right now, she's the easiest to shop for, hands down. The easiest to shop for. But anyways, y'all, um, I literally just be doing shit like real talk it really don't make sense how i really just be going to these people's stores spending unnecessary money i have a problem it is something wrong with me i have an addiction to shopping not only shopping i have a specific addiction to shopping for my children because when it comes to me if y'all have not seen like that little shorts i posted on tiktok go to our tiktok fun dot with dot in three I literally, like, I have bought myself something to wear out to a concert I went to with my friends, and I spent $70 after I had just came from spending $125 on my kids um, at Marshall's, and I felt so bad. Like, I felt horrible that I spent $70 on me when I could have really put it back and got something else. But I need to break that habit because I am just as important as my children. And I also need to keep up myself. Like, I can't, you know, be one of the moms that just let themselves go. Which I'm not because when I step out, I do look nice or whatever. But I still feel guilty. I still got a little bit of mom guilt. I'm working on that. Nevertheless, this is me trying to hold my phone, trying to skim through the little clothes or whatever. And y'all know I love me a little two-for-one love, a little packy pack pack set. So I end up getting Nyla this little these little shorts and I only grabbed them because I did find some shirts to match with it which was also a pack of shirts to match with the pack of shorts and y'all know I love me a packy pack yeah the boy clothes again y'all already know how I feel about this they're very boring they're dry they're dull the colors do not pop and it's just not it for me I do not like the boy clothes but nevertheless I am always in a boy department for my daughters because a lot of the times boys like if I want to just get my daughters like a blaze a basic red Jordan shirt or a polo shirt they're not going to have it in the girls department nine times out of ten they're not going to have it in the girls department I will have to go in the boys department to get them red I never see any red in the girls department I never see any like blues like navies and stuff like that I never see those in the boys in the girls department so I would literally have to go over to the boys department to get the boring colors to match up something with the, for the girls that's just it I don't make the rules y'all so yes I'm always in a boy department whether I have boys or not like one boy two boys seven boys I'm gonna always be in a boy department for my daughters anyways y'all this is me breaking through the things, breaking through the things, breaking through the things. Again, look at this red, boring. I don't know. I, I only got um Q Money. I think I got him one outfit today, um, which was just some little basketball shorts and a little shirt. Um, I think that's it. And I think I think I got a, like an extra shirt for him or something to go with something. I'm not really sure. I forget. I did end up grabbing this Tommy shirt. But at the last minute, I put it back because I thought about it. And he real deal got so many shirts because that little tiny logo, that was all he could wear when he was in middle school. So he has like a couple Tommy shirts and a, a couple polo shirts that he has never worn because I don't know why. He just never wore them. 
and he aggravating like all the rest of my kids but i don't know why he just don't wear but anyways these little pants was cute but i was like eh, i was giving swimming trunks like they kind of look like swimming trucks so i rate past them even though i like like the brightness the colors or whatever i end up leaving them because i just they just felt like they were swimming truck yeah look at these clothes they just do anyways y'all it was nothing really special ross again like I said, Ross is never my go-to. Like, I wasn't planning on finding $600 worth of clothes in Ross. I just wasn't. I was really only there to match up stuff. And I failed miserably. Like, I did not achieve my task. I ended up buying extra clothes. I only got one plain white shirt to match up with those pants that I know for a fact that Naziah wants to wear. She loves those little pants. Those ones I got from Old Navy. And I got her little plain little white shirt for that. Other than that, y'all, I felt miserably. I did not um, find any matches to anything else. But like I said, y'all, I'm going to take that jump back to the soul because, yeah. Yeah. And then these little pants. I did see a shirt that matched these pants. These was Nike pants. But they just, it's giving highlighter. God damn, they too bright. Y'all know I like a bright color, but not that bright. God dang, that bright is just like. It's giving, it's giving highlighter. It's definitely not giving cute bright. Like, it's giving, yeah, take that shit off. That's what it's giving. What is this little white stuff on my shirt? I don't know. It look like toothpaste. Who knows? Who knows? Look at these little cute little shorts. I should have got it for Nevaeh. But Nevaeh already got some shorts, some Jordan shorts that I got out of the boy department from Burlington that was $4. They Jordan, they, they was $3.99, and I could not leave them. So I left those today. But look at these shoes, y'all. They had some really cute shoes. These, I really liked these, but they did not have none of my girl sizes. Like, I don't know why. Y'all let me know if y'all like these. Do y'all like these? Like, I don't know. I like the rust pink color. Um, those is cute. I just I just thought it was really cute. They did not have day size though, but I just thought it was cute. Um, and then also these Reeboks. Again, like I said, I told y'all once, I'm gonna tell y'all twice. My kids in white shoes, they do not get along. So they have to have multiple pair of white shoes throughout the school year. Because, baby, them things be looking beat up by the by day two. I'm not even lying. These is so freaking cute. Oh, my God, y'all. I absolutely love these shoes. I wanted these so freaking bad. I wanted these shoes so bad. They did not have them in nobody's size. I was like, at least I can get them in one kid size. But, no, they had them in absolutely nobody's size. These are so sick and cute. Like, y'all cannot tell me these shoes are not cute. They was Pumas, which was the name brand. But I don't care what name brand they was. They was really so cute. I was really just going to grab them just because I just thought they was so stinking adorable. And then look at the little Rugrats shoes. You got little Angelica Pickles and Susie Carmichael. Susie was always my favorite. Y'all already know Susie was my girl. And they had these Vans, these Sesame Street Vans. Um... This was a size three again, no, not nail one of my kids' sizes, especially for vans, because they always say vans hurt their feet. I would never get they size in vans ever, ever, ever. Um, I always get like a size and a half up if I'm getting any kind of vans for them because they annoying. Um, these is so cute. Look at these again. Did not have their size Reeboks be coming through with the colorways. Like I feel like that's why I be liking Reeboks so much because I love the colorways they be having. Like. Reebok colorways, real deal, just be hitting. And also, I like New Balance colorways, like the, the um colorways they be having on New Balances. I love the little colorways they be having on New Balance. Reeboks, Nevaeh got two pairs of Reeboks that I got from City Trans. And I was sitting get her these and those other ones. Again, did not have her size because, baby, I'm a Reebok kind of girl when I tell you. Look at these little cute little things. So cute. That was a size 11. Nevaeh needed a 12 or a 13. Reeboks be coming through. I don't even know who the owner of Reeboks is, but he be doing his thing with the color wave. Ain't even gonna lie. And then nothing, 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 nothing. These, I don't know, I don't know. They just caught my eye, but they wasn't cute. It's, it was the orange that caught my eye. Yeah, I went back through the clothes again to try to find something because I was like, it's gotta be a match here for something. Like something has to have a match. But then that's when I found this. Like, really, me going back is what caused me to spend money. Because the first time I did my little walk the range, I ain't seen nothing special. But this time is when I actually found stuff. Because I was like, let me let me find some matches. But I didn't find matches. I found whole outfits. Whatever. 
This I matched up with that. But okay, so the flower power, the flower power, <laughs> the flower pattern on the shorts is different from the one on the shirt. But I was thinking that because it is a two pack, I could take that little pink shirt that was in the back of it and match it with the flower shorts. So it'll be, and then the, the blue shirt that was in the front, I would match it with those pants in the back, which was jeans. That's my logic. Duh, stay with me. And then, y'all, this is me in the checkout controlling myself. Not buying anything over here on the side, basically reaching over here because y'all know how they be putting stuff to the side. They'd be like, oh, you know, grab this before you leave. Uh -uh, I won't get me today. Just look at it and keep it moving, girl. All right, y'all. I am back in this car. Whew, I gotta use the bathroom. We need a moment of silence. Y'all, I spent $66.79. $66.79. I've come to realize that I have a problem. I really do. Like, when I go in the store, when it comes to my kids, I literally just keep grabbing things. I have this problem of thinking that they need stuff that they really, truly do not freaking eat. I was only going in there to match up stuff that does not have a match. I ended up buying completely whole outfits. Um. So what I decided is that anything else that needs a match, I'm just going to take it back to the store. Because if I go in another store to try to match up the stuff that I was supposed to match up today, I'm going to spend more money and I'm sick of spending money. It's, it's real bad, y'all. Like, I'm taking the stuff back to the store if it does not have a match. When I get home, I am going to match up everything. If it does not have a match, it's going back to the store. Because if I go in the store to find a match for it, I end up spending more freaking money, y'all. I got a plain white shirt for Nazaya. Okay. This goes, this is a match to something. So, therefore, it goes with those little pants. I got key money, some pants, a shirt. I got, um, leave me alone. Y'all leave me alone for real. This is ridiculous. Like, I'm done for real. I am done school clothes shopping. Today at Ross was the final straw. I am never going <laughs> back in a store until October. I'll be back in the stores in October to get them fall clothes or winter clothes. What November. I'll be back in November to get them clothes for the winter. That's it. I'm not going back for back to school. I'm not going back in the store. I promise y'all I'm not. They daddy is going to get them some shoes because I already bought a pair of shoes. Y'all go watch that haul. Um, when it was on sale, I got some shoes for them. Their daddy's supposed to be getting them some shoes. I can't believe it, y'all. I can't believe I really wanted these people stuff to go match up stuff and end up buying whole outfits. Jesus, help me. I need help. And then... <laughs> Oh, God. I ain't get my baby nothing. Nevaeh is the only person who I did not get something for today. Because Nevaeh, again, has the absolutely most stuff. So, I did see, like, a couple things for Nevaeh. But I put them back for one because they didn't have matches. And I didn't feel like matching them up. And I was just like, I'm just going to put it back. Everything else I'm returning. Yep. D d I don't make the rules. Listen, it got to go back to the store. I don't make the rules. It has to go back to the store. The stuff that I have for Nevaeh that does not have a match, I might give it to my sister for my niece because they were the same size. And I know my sister not done school clothes shopping yet, so maybe she could find matches to it. But I don't know. I don't know. I got to go see what I got. That's the end of the video, y'all. I'm going to go. It is still my sister's birthday. We're going to get ready to go out to eat. I'm going to go home. I got to hide this stuff because my husband said... <laughs> he told me that I don't need to be in the store And I agree with him But I'm like boy you don't tell me what to do 
but he's absolutely right and i need to learn to listen but just neither here nor there that's completely besides the point i'm gonna take this stuff in the house and i don't want to hear nothing else about it he just gonna have to just hush just hush that's the end of the video make sure you like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications give us a big thumbs up we will see you guys in the next video that will not be a school haul oh yes it will so now that i'm i'm lying y'all now that i am done i am actually going to like lay out all of their stuff and then i'll let y'all choose what um what y'all want them to wear not for the first day of school because i already got their first day of school outfit but definitely for like the second day of school yeah y'all can pick their second day of school outfit um other than that that's the last back to school video y'all getting so deuces Deuces, 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 deuces. Bye.